welcome to the Cookery Club with Kilcully Women's Centre. Today we are going to be making scones. Hopefully you managed to get the items needed to make these. But if you didn't, don't worry, sit back and enjoy the class. At this point lift out your baking tray and turn your oven to 200 degrees. And next, line your baking tray with some greaseproof paper and you're pretty much good to go. So in a large bowl, you're going to tip your 350 grams of self-freezing flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoonful of baking powder. So what we're going to do is just bring that together, just mix your salt and your baking powder in with the flour, and next we're going to add in our butter. So we'll add it in in chunks, and then we'll start to knead it with our fingers so that it looks like breadcrumbs. So this can take a little bit of time. So just work it through. You'll have some big pieces, and you'll start to break those down with the flour. Just take your time, relax, enjoy it. This is quite nice just to run your fingers through. So continue to do that. Just breaking it down and finished result should end up looking like breadcrumbs. So now that we have our mix looking like breadcrumbs, we're going to add in our caster sugar and we're going to bring that together just in through the mix. Then we're going to create a well in the centre and we're going to add in a little bit of our milk and our vanilla extract. So I only have a little bit here. So I have about a teaspoonful left, that's all we need. And we'll add it in. And then we will add our milk. Now one thing I would say is don't add all of your milk in one go because it can make it too wet. So just add a little bit at a time and incorporate it in. So when you've made your well in the center of the bowl and you've added in your milk, yeah, what you'll need to do is work quite quickly. Uh, a normal good knife, a normal cutlery knife is absolutely fine for bringing this together. It will be quite sticky at first, uh, but just work with it and it should form a nice dough. So just bringing this all in together. If you find that it is a little bit too wet, you can add a little bit of extra flour, but don't do that just yet. Just keep working with it and bringing it round and round the bowl. It will come together. find that you need just a little bit more milk and that's okay as well. I'm going to add just a little bit more. Now as you can see I am using buttermilk um, because I had some that needed to be used. Buttermilk or normal milk are perfectly suitable for this. If you are using normal milk you might want to heat it on the stove just to warm it gently and then that should just be incorporated in the exact same way as I've shown you here. So I'm going to get my hands into this now and start bringing it together into a proper dough. So as you can see the knife will only take you so far and then you have to get your hands dirty. So I'm just pushing this into the bowl getting up all those loose bits of flour at the bottom. And we'll get them all incorporated. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this onto our work surface. And we're going to add a little bit of flour to it. So ideally what you need to do is just add a little flour over the top and a little to your board. So we'll just keep doing this, bringing it together and as we do that, you'll see that the, the texture of it starts to change and we get a much smoother looking mix. 
So if you want to split it, now's the time to add in your fruit or whatever filling you've chosen. When it looks smooth, shape it into around approximately 4 cm deep, just like these. Now use your cutter to cut out your scones and place them on the baking tray. We'll do the exact same with our, our plain one. Let's hope it comes out of the mix. On it goes. Now it really does depend on the size of cutter you use. I have um, I've picked this one and it will probably produce reasonably large scones. If you want to make smaller ones, just use a smaller cutter. Just whatever meets your needs how many you want to make and or maybe how many people you're catering for if you're in the house at the minute and you've got a lot of people in there with you then you obviously need to maybe use a smaller one or else double up the mixture. So put these little ones just in the centre and that means that all the mixture is used so there's not a great deal of um, ingredients required but there's also not a lot of waste either you can either add it in or you can make a really big scone or a couple of smaller ones out of it uh, and that means it's all used and the great thing about these is that you can freeze them as well if you make if you make a number of smaller ones and you don't want to be baking every week you can always just make smaller ones then and freeze them and then all, all you have to do is pop them in the oven at 160 degrees for about three or four minutes and that'll defrost them and they'll be just like freshly baked scones. So just before you pop them into the oven, mix your egg up and use your pastry brush to glaze the tops of the scones with the egg. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. And that's what will give them that nice shine whenever they're freshly baked. And now I'm going to put these in the oven at 200 degrees for 10 minutes. And when I bring them out, we should have six large, lovely golden scones. And two little tiny ones as well. And here they are, fresh out of the oven and smelling absolutely wonderful. Once you bring them out of the oven, let them cool on a cooling tray for a while. And when you can't resist any longer, add some buttercream, a jam, and enjoy them with a cup of tea or coffee. Scones are really quick and easy to make and they're also very versatile. Don't forget that they can be frozen in airtight bags. Please send us lots of pictures of your scones whenever you get them made and join us next Tuesday for another cookery class.